How do you know I was here? Um, I don't know. Oh, I heard about Chelsea. I know it's bad. All right, let's check it out. Come on. <laughs> I don't think this thing is working. Dude. I don't think it's working. Uh, Chelsea, uh, we gotta go do an episode at Fright Farm. Are you okay? We don't have a backup host. She's sick? Probably. She looks sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Something she ate? Maybe. Um. The local experiment needs you! Oh! Oh! Uh -oh. oh! Oh shit! Oh! oh. Okay guys, I'm feeling better. Let's go shoot the episode. I'm here with Draco and he's gonna tell us why we should all come to the History Center for Fright on the Farm. Hi. Hey there, Chelsea. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you see, Fright at the Farm is a little bit of fright, but a little bit of humor and drama. We have theater actors, and we have wonderful, wonderful special effects throughout. So you should all come down and visit the History Center for Fright at the Farm. <laughs> It started in my house about seven years ago, and I would just open it up for the community to come through, and well, it grew, and in with one weekend I had 1,500 people. And the county kind of said, you know what, it's time for you to find another location. <laughs> and they actually suggested here at the History Center of Olmsted County, so that's where I am. I'm here every October. And what I love is you guys are raising money for certain charities each year, so what is it this year? Yes, yeah, so we raise money not only for the History Center of Homestead County, but for the last two years we've raised money for Brighter Tomorrows, which is a cancer support group for families that have children with cancer. And my little one, Cadence, has cancer. She has leukemia, but she has gotten through treatment, but they don't call her cancer-free till she's 10, so we're just giving back to the community. That's awesome. Slam, an event celebrating Dia de los Muertos, a traditional Mexican holiday, and the cultural phenomenon that is the Poetry Slam. Alter building, families welcome, everything's free.
Can you tell me maybe one of your most memorable Halloween moments? Yeah, you know, what this all comes back to is my father and mother, when I was about five years old, brought me into a haunted house run by some college kids. And they took an old dilapidated house and we walked through the whole entire house and with different scenes. I remember scenes such as a room full of mattresses with a crazed victim or a person in a straitjacket. And then we got down to the basement and my dad, he's big, 6'2", 220 pounds, and we're down in the basement, and I'm scared, I'm holding on to my dad, and all of a sudden, someone's arm comes out of the wall and grabs my dad, and he freaks out, oh, what was that? And it just scared me, and I was like, oh, it was a horrible experience. But then I'm like, oh, I got older, and I'm like, you know what, I need to do this. I need to scare other people, and it's, it's amusing to see that. Um, but also, on the same note, I also like to do a family-friendly friendly presentation. So we do that, there's four nights, the 16th, the uh, 18th, the 25th, and November 1st, from 5 to 6 p.m., where we turn off all the animatronics, and we just turn off the noise, and we let the little ones come through and enjoy the attraction, so hopefully they won't get scared, and later on they'll come back and enjoy us when they're older. They're ready. I love that. That's a good way. And let's see if I have my scream down before I go in to see if I can be ready. Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? Ah! 